I like collecting vintage photographs. When you pick up a snapshot from the 50s and see a family posing in front of their new house or a couple before prom, you just get a hint of a much larger story. Each photograph is a little mystery. Why are they there and what are they doing? They give you the room to imagine a backstory for them without having to be concerned with truth or reality. When I go to an antique store to look for photographs, I gravitate toward the piles of unclassified pictures. I look for strange or unusual photos. Sometimes that might just mean that the photographer cropped out half of a person or got their camera strap over the lens. Other times it's a quality of light that strikes me. Vintage photographs are interesting because unlike today, where everyone has a camera with them at all times, photography of the past was expensive and exclusive, which meant most people only got to take a photo of themselves or their family a few times a year on special occasions. This elevates even the seemingly random snapshot from just another photo to something important enough to waste precious film on. I like to think that by finding these photos and using them in creative ways, I am bringing back life to forgotten memories and resurrecting ghosts for future generations to meet.